your portion, your friend's portion, my portion, because I know how good they are. Hot and cold Sichuan style cucumbers, addictive. They're called hot and cold cucumbers because they start out hot, then they're chilled and served cold, but they're also hot spicy, so it's kind of a fun play on words. It really starts very simply with some nice cucumbers. If all I'm doing is having these cucumbers is so that I can take this rather large and watery seed pod out of the cucumbers. And then all I want to do is cut them. You just want nice single bite half moons of cucumber. Take my sea salt, give them a nice toss. We're just gonna let that set aside for a second. Meanwhile, these are Szechuan peppercorns. I'm gonna add that into my mortar. And I'm just gonna run my pestle around that and return that to my mise en place. We're gonna make a mixture to marinate them in. Some sesame oil, some rice wine vinegar, some sugar, some fermented chili bean paste. I'm just gonna stir this together because I want the sugar to dissolve. This is a Fresno chili. Make a couple of thin cuts here. I have some whole dried chilies. I have some crushed chilies with Szechuan peppercorns, so I'm gonna have the right balance of heat. That contrast between the exterior texture and the interior crisp coldness is the secret to this dish. So you want a hot wok and only let the cucumbers sit in there for 10, 12 seconds. Bowl, paper toweling, and it's gonna take that surface water off of our cucumbers. Wok cooking happens very quickly, so you make sure you have everything on hand that you need and wanna make sure that you can work as quickly as the recipe intends it to. Add your oil. Fragrant. You see those literally blackening right away. The minute we add the cucumbers, they stop blackening. That's 12 seconds. These are hot on the outside, but they're still cool on the inside. But right now, that stuff on the outside wants to soak up our dressing into the refrigerator, 25, 30 minutes. Cucumbers have been cooling for a little while. They've cooled long enough. We're gonna get that wonderful hot, cold vibe. Just absolutely delicious. Now, of course, the proof is in the pudding. Those are so great. Hot and cold cucumbers, one of my absolute, hands down favorite recipes.